Welcome to the Better Minecraft series. Pretty sure this is episode 8. I don't know what I'm doing. So last time I got myself this good old bejeweled backpack right here, which gives me a double chest worth of inventory space, which is pretty nice. What's not nice is that I don't know what to do in this episode. <laughs> My original plan was to go to the... What's it called? The... Twilight Forest. That's the one. That dimension. Problem... Oh, that's going down. Didn't know that. What do I need to make a season calendar? A clock and a book. I think I can do that. Okay, on second thought, I don't think I can do that. Uh, I... Oh, I can. Okay. Wait, didn't I use all my books on the enchantment table? Alright, I'm trying to make a season calendar, but I need leather for it, so... It's fine, no one's gonna miss him. Oh, and I also have a sugarcane farm. I don't think I've ever shown this. In the episode where I was building my house and, like, the footage kind of got corrupted, I- During that, I built- I made a little sugarcane farm. And by little, I mean it's kind of big. And you know what? It can always be bigger. I need a season calendar to demonstrate my dilemma. So now... We use that, put that there, make a clock, slap these things together, season calendar. Could have just kept using it from here, but I wanted, I wanted to not, oh, I didn't want to do that. 16 days left until winter. And once winter hits, crops are not going to grow. So I cannot leave this place until winter starts because I need my crops to grow. <laughs> So, I'm basically stuck here until winter starts. Um... That's all you got? I mean, I can do things, but I have to be in the area. So that that produces a bit more bread, and those crops grew. Because I need that wheat to make the cows, because that's the only food I can really <laughs> have during winter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not entirely certain, but we'll figure something out and it's gonna be awesome. Oh, I had- I had paper in there. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Cool. Please multiply. I need food. <laughs> I think I need to fix up my base before I go to a different dimension. Because I have to do something with Overdorf. Fix this, and also make a duck enclosure. Alright, I need to see what's going on here. I just need two pieces of obsidian. Which, you know what? I think I can go do that right now. I just have to remember, uh, where I got that obsidian to begin with, because I kind of don't. Oh, also the snail. This is the second snail that I've had. First one. <laughs> the first one was killed very stupidly. Uh, craft and tape. Well, uh, I, I- oh no! I killed my snail! I accidentally put him in a wall. Um, I probably should have come into this episode with more of a plan, but I also just love playing this mod pack, so I kinda just wanted to play it. Where the heck is that obsidian that I got? I don't remember how to get back there. I don't even know how I got there to begin with. If I'm down here, are the crops still gonna grow? Are they still loaded in the chunks? There was a creeper behind me. Why? I just heard a creeper. I guess I should be looking at the map. That would help. I just heard a freaking creeper behind me. So I jumped down here. Almost smacked that dude because he was running after me. What are you doing? I think my problem is that I just recorded some of 2000 days before playing this. And I was, like, falling off high places a lot. <laughs> so, I'm used to having Feather Falling 4 at the moment. I'll give you three raw iron, and you can give me six smelted. Thanks, pal. I think the lava pool is down here. I don't know if there's... Well, that answers my question. I only need two pieces, but I'm gonna take a few extra just in case I need obsidian for something. Ah! Hey, creative... <laughs> I created a cobblestone generator. I'm gonna sleep here, just because it is, in fact, night. And you know what? Is this a dumb idea? Maybe. Am I gonna go through this thing? Perhaps. Oh, oh, okay, this guy, hello. 
Why is there so many creepers in this gosh darn cave? It's like a mine shaft or something. These leaves are annoying. Oh, I found some lapis. That's cool, I guess. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of lapis. Um. <laughs> Just got like two stacks of this stuff. And I'm not even done mining it. We'll leave that there for now. I don't need more in. What am I mean I'm gonna leave it there? Literally the title of the last video was unlimited inventory space. Give me this stuff. I don't have restrictions on what I can take with me. Hello. Why is there so many of you? There's a spawner down there. I think the spiders I hear are cave spiders. Just because this is a mine shaft. These tend to have cave spider spawners. Well, this is ominous. Uh, yeah, why? why? I'll take the coal. Not gonna blow up or anything. A chest! Barrel, actually. That, that's a minecart with teen. I thought that was cool! I thought that was a chest. Ah! No! Demon! Stay back! There we go. Okay, th oh, that, that, that's a lot of mobs right there. I want to find something cool. I haven't really found the coolest structures in this series. And there's 250 mods in this. I'll take the redstone. Wait, hold on. I thought this was a mine shaft. Why do all of these dead ends have buckets of ore at them? That don't make sense. Y'all didn't mine these things? Where else can I go in here? Down, I guess. Oh? Do I want to go down that? Ah, there we go. That- that's a thing. Okay. I'm gonna leave the spawner there. I don't have a sword, so this is gonna take a minute to break. You know, screw it, just pop a torch. You know, I'm supposed to be doing something with ducks right now, and instead I'm- oh, I'm just getting really distracted, you know? Should not be spam clicking. <laughs> oh, this is a trap. The ladder doesn't extend down here, so I was trying to go up, but I couldn't reach it. Legit thought I was gonna die right there. Uh, good thing I kinda stopped the cave spiders from spawning. Otherwise, that would have been very bad. A co oh, a cooking pot? What? What's the point of that? I got a name tag though, which is nice. Oh, a skillet. There's a lot of cooking things in here. Tomato seeds do not grow in winter, but you know what? I can grow them at least. I'm gonna leave the cooking stuff in here because I don't understand that, and I can just... I can come back. You know what? I want this string. I think the reason I panicked so much was because I couldn't get back up, and there was also a spider down there that I didn't even see just chilling right next to me. I was kind of nervous. Okay, well that's lava. I was about to jump down there. Also, did my goblin guy despawn? I think he did, so I can't double my iron. It'd be real nice, because there's a lot of iron right here. But still, no diamonds! I think all but one of my diamonds have just been from chests. Is it night? It is. I spent a whole day doing that. Oh yeah, chase after me. Like, you're gonna win a fight. I got a diamond axe, bro. Oh yeah, I mean, you got the first hit, but... It wasn't good enough. First order of business, I guess we're growing tomatoes. I don't- <laughs> Maybe you can make tomato soup or something? Why did I put this so close to the villager breeder? That doesn't look good. Okay, I can grow tomatoes. Now, <laughs> what can I do with tomatoes? I guess the only thing I can do is make tomato sauce, but I don't know how to do that because it's not letting me click on it. Also, speaking of the Twilight Forest mod, Apparently there's an uncrafting table, I guess. Alright, time for everyone's favorite thing that's gonna get cut out of the video. Me organizing my loot. Wait, I... I, I have potatoes and carrots in here. Well, I gotta go plant these then. 
really wish that this stupid right clicking thing worked. Maybe it does work and I'm just doing it wrong. All right, so another thing is that pretty much every plant takes longer to grow in fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it. That's, that's kind of not helpful, you know? When I'm in desperate need of them growing in autumn. I just realized I'm about to break my portal. Is that gonna mess up where I spawn in the nether? I really hope it doesn't, because there's a lot of lava in the area that I spawned in. Because I need to move these three blocks into the wall. If I had flint and steel on me, which I don't for some reason, and that seems like a... Oh, I do! It... How long has that been in the front? <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay, so that... Oh, that... Still looks stupid, but like... It looks better than it did before. So now, hopefully when I go in here, um, it's in the same place as it was last time. And it is. Cool. Now I'm in the nether. You know, while I'm here, is there anywhere I can get magma blocks? I kind of... Ah. Hello. That's convenient. Oh, there's so many of them! I mean, from here, I can't see any. Okay, is it in the... Okay, it's in the basalt deltas. The flooded deltas don't have magma blocks. Is there any other place I can get magma blocks? What is that? What the heck is going on in here? These guys aren't gonna get mad if I open their chest. I don't think this is supposed to be here. Huh? So much gold. Some iron. Chain mail. Another saddle. Okay. Haven't used the first one yet. Music disc for chirp uh why why is there a stack of basalt did i put that there now you may think that i'm getting distracted at the moment but you're actually wrong because i wanted magma blocks for something that i was gonna do in this video the problem is that this biome doesn't spawn magma blocks i'm assuming that like a nether waste is probably the best place to get magma blocks but i don't know where any of those are another skull let's go no, okay. Can you make bone meal with this stuff? You can. Oh, there's so many over there. And that thing has fins on its head. I can make it there on foot, maybe, hopefully. I just gotta not die, you know? Ember lily. I'm no, I don't want to break that in case it burns in lava for some reason. Oh, look at it. What is this? Firefly. Okay, the magma blocks are up there. I don't even need that many magma blocks. I, I have nine. That's probably enough but I want more. Is someone playing music outside my house? I... You probably can't hear that, but if you do hear just a song playing, sorry about that. All right, let me out. No! Okay. Whew. <laughs> that almost ended very bad. Did not be jumping around here, but I am. Oh boy, there's a guest. Somewhere. Oh, he's- what the heck? Why was he there? Whoa. I wonder if I could kill him. Never mind. No! I am stupid. Okay. Oh yeah, mine straight up in the nether. To make sure I have a way to escape this. Bro, where am I going? Have I reached the nether fortress top? I have. I'm supposed to be making a dock enclosure. Why am I in the nether? Oh, great. What? You're here. Didn't even drop a skull. Ah, the sun is rising. I skipped the night. That's perfect. Take my backpack. I'm gonna stick this saddle in it. I'm kind of getting distracted at the moment, but I'm gonna take this stone and smelt it. You got your trades back? No, I don't think these guys reset, which is annoying. Also, why do I have this table in my house? Wait, what happened to the sofa? I still have it. Okay, we're putting this upstairs. Put a sofa in your bedroom, that's a great idea. Where do I want this thing? I guess it fits there. You can just relax there, I guess. All right, sofa, sofa's up. <laughs> Is it worth making a jukebox? I've only got two diamonds, but like, what can you do with two diamonds? Not much, because I want to listen to this CD. Where should I put this though? Wait, why do I have a, why do I have a stone cutter in my house? Just put it there.
It's kind of weird. Stop it. Why did that go flying? This is a complete waste of time, and I actually don't remember how you make this. How do you make an armor stand? Boom. And now I can put this there. Put my chain mail on it. I thought I had a chest with like an, a helmet in it. There it is. All right, so I need to stop getting stri I just went to the nether. I'm not supposed to be leaving this place. Oh wait, the tomatoes have grown. Well, that works on these things, but not anything else. Wait, so now I have tomato, which I can use to make seeds. There we go. And now I have extra tomatoes, which I'm gonna use to make even more seeds. So that I can have more of the farm filled up, I guess. Alright, so my idea for the nether portal. I am going to make this hopefully look cool. Start by blocking that up. Here we go. I'm gonna try to make this like a mix of netherrack, bloodstone, and magma blocks. I have no clue how this is going to turn out. Why is the magma block fusing with the netherrack? That looks bad. I don't even think I have enough netherrack to make this. Maybe one day I'll look back at this footage and like all of this will be filled in. Probably not, but like, I can dream, can't I? So my idea was to have it kind of look like the nether is leaking into the overworld. So I guess like I can do... Something like that, and it kind of looks like it's leaking in. <laughs> and I gotta have, like, a mix of blocks in here. Oh, gosh. Does that look bad? It kind of does. Also, I hate there's so much gravel here. This is why gravel is, like, my least favorite block in this game. It just gets in the way. My thing is that I kind of want this to look good, you know? I've been playing this game for so long that I should be good at building. Although I'm not. A little bit more bread, that's the start, you know? And I just realized something. When I harvest my crops, I should be using my... Fortune 3 pickaxe. Because that'll give me more crops out of it. Or, I don't know, like maybe this stupid right-clicking thing could work. You know? That, that, that didn't give me extra. I thought that was supposed to give me extra. The carrots with the white flowers are good to pick. I just realized if I can't have bread and stuff, my villager supply is going to go down. Every, winter is just going to make everything go bad. I'm realizing that this bloodstone kind of doesn't really fit in well, but... What can you do? We're here, and we're doing it. That'd be a magma. Oh, dear. Yeah, making my staircase down magma blocks. This is a phenomenal idea. I always have the best plans. Then we can kind of have this, like, leaking out, I guess. Ugh. Why is the blending thing happening there, but not there? That looks awful. Not a netherrack, though. That's great. I guess I can just have, like, a bunch of magma blocks up there. Ah! What the heck? I can headbutt the lanterns. Wait for it to stop. Can I smack it? Okay, that's way too funny. It's not every day that you go into the nether specifically just to mine netherrack, but hey, what, what can you do? Don't mind if I do. What is that? Sincinocyte ore? So, I guess this stuff makes armor. Is it better than iron? Let's see. Iron armor is plus six armor. Since Sinicite is plus six, but then knockback resistance and armor toughness. Give me that. Now I want more Sinicite. Okay, so you just smelt the Sinicite and you get an ingot. So I have four ingots currently. I'm realizing this series has kind of gone from making, from having 20 minute episodes to 30. This episode is going to be 40 minutes if I don't get freaking back home. Oh, it seems like this stuff is rare. Is that it? No, that's just gold. If I could replace my helmet, I definitely want to. There's another one of these. 
didn't think that through very much. If one of those pigs sees me opening this chest, they're gonna get kinda mad. Here, don't- don't worry about this. No more pigs. Blocks this time. Just probably take the bones, just cuz. Alright, this is a waste of time. I need to head home, but I just want more Sincinocyte. I mean, I guess it's not a whole lot better than iron armor, but it's- it is, in fact, better. I hear the ducks quacking. Don't worry, guys, you'll be out of the hole soon. Alright, so I gotta... finish this now. Watch me not have enough netherrack to do this. Where did you come from? I just looked down and this guy's just chilling here, and you know what? I have raw iron, right? Oh, you're over here. Here. Yeah! Okay, we're cutting it kind of close, but I did in fact have enough netherrack, which is cool. Okay, I actually kind of like this! That actually looks kind of cool. I have a little bit of netherrack left. I can... Maybe make it look better. Okay, I actually really like this. Uh, it's not the best looking thing, it does look a lot like a mess, but like, it's not bad! I'll take it. <laughs> Finally did something with this stupid hole that I dug in like episode 2. How many days? 11. You know what? It's 11 days till winter. I think we play blocks. That's enough out of that. How's the farm coming? I, I desperately need this. Come on. It's actually going quite well. Not, you know, not, that I'm in the area. Who would have thought? Oh, I got a rotten tomato. Alright, tomatoes are all filled up. So now I just right-click those every single time and get tomatoes out of it. Unlike this, where I have to manually come through here and pick them out one by one. Cow pit hasn't been this full in a while. Oh gosh, let me out. Alright, duck enclosure. We're finally doing this. What kind of fences can we get up in here? I know I use spruce a lot, but I kind of want to... I think that would look the best. Maybe dark oak? Like, I know where any of that is. Is there a dark oak forest anywhere nearby? Because I am i can't really leave this place. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to use spruce, I guess. Do I even have spruce? Oh, wait, actually. This stuff. Stuff that I once called cool, then didn't call cool, and then... Maybe it's cool again. Actually! Wait, where's that one wood? This stuff. Wart logs. Oh, no. Th these planks are really red, though. I don't think a duck enclosure is gonna look good with that as the fence. Alright, another day, another not using the red stuff that I really like. So, that's sad. So I'll stick them over here, I guess. A little ways away. But still not, not too far. Uh, you know what? I might keep this here and make it a little pond for the ducks. For some reason, I'm imagining like a chicken coop for ducks. Uh, <laughs> it, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. And then, boom! That looks like a place ducks would want to be, right? For, I guess I'm, I'm gonna try to do like a, the chicken coop thing I was imagining, but I don't know. I don't know if I got space for that. Do I have saplings for spruce? I do! I'm gonna grow some spruce. <laughs> Y'all really want your freedom, don't you? Too bad. I was really hoping that would be one of the big ones, because that would actually give me wood. I don't think I'm doing what I need to do to make the big ones. If I do... That. That was a mistake. Oh, I took, I took it down! Let's go! Is there a way to get, like, a... Thinner log? Nah, doesn't look like it. So if I kind of do this, what am I doing for the walls? <laughs> I want a, I need a different kind of wood. I don't think willow log is gonna look very good. Actually, willow doesn't look all that bad. Um, for what I'm doing. I'm working with ducks, right? Willow actually looks kind of nice for the uh, aesthetic of the duck hut. I 
That looks really pretty with the shaders. We're almost to winter. Yeah, it's getting there. Nine days. Yeah, that kind of looks nice for the ducks. I don't want to cover that up because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of having the little notch right here. So if I put this around here, to right, so do that, and then fill it up with that, I guess. Does that look good? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It looks really bad. Okay, that... I mean, it, this is for ducks, keep in mind. What if I do this? Is that gonna make it look better? Alright, you know what? I think considering that this is for flipping ducks, I think that's probably fine. Uh, now I just gotta fill in the little pond. Maybe add some flowers or something? I don't know. Oh, look at the farm! Yes! I have to harvest this. I don't have long. <laughs> See, this is why I needed to be in this area, because I actually have crops. Should probably get another bucket. I have the bucket with a snail in it. You know what? I'm willing to sacrifice this snail. Um, we'll see what he does. All right. I think the little pond is done. All right. I think all that's left is getting the ducks in here. They follow seeds, right? They, they don't eat seeds. I thought you guys ate seeds. Ah, crap. Now I got ducks walking. Wait, bread. Yeah, I forgot. It's bread that they like. Boom! I got ducks! Oh look, they're already going in the thing. This is amazing! Alright, so I have a lantern. Yeah, there we go! Now they have a light in there. I think that this worked out perfectly. Alright, so now I have to do something for Overdorf. I have an idea, and that is... Making a basement. So if I just have this going down a couple blocks. Alright, so somehow I have to make this into a home for Overdorf without making it a prison. Wait, I have an idea. It's just gonna require, um, a little bit of digging. This isn't going to be the most epic place that we could put Overdorf, but this is mainly about safety, okay? Because I don't want Overdorf to die the base is named after her. Keep in mind we're at base dwarf right now. Uh, maybe we'll get other bases along the way. Can she get out of this? She's not going to be able to get out of this. I want the lament logs in the corners. I can just do that, right? Yo, these look amazing! I don't really know what to do there. I, do I have a block of diorite? I do. Let's go. Put that there. That doesn't look bad now. I don't like how there is an Enderman nearby. Like, where is he? I have an idea. If I take my wart log, can I strip this? I can. So this is gonna be like that. There's gonna be a block there. So this needs to be like that. And this can be that. Oh gosh, it's night. Um, okay. Go, 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 go. You're in my house? Come over here. Oh, well, that was easy. Also, this is done cooking, right? My sin... Sin Sinicite. It is called that. Obtain... Uh, oh, okay. That's all you got. Is there any other... Oh, dear gosh. Apparently, more I can do with a backpack. That's crazy. Um, better nether. Sin Sinicite. Harder than gold. Get some shiny Sincinocyte tools. Dress up in Sincinocyte gear. Okay, that one I'm gonna start working on first. Is Sincinocyte, like, better than diamond or something? Four attack damage. Two harvest level. I don't know what that is. Six digging speed. Diamond axe. If I can find that. Is nine attack damage. Eight. Okay, so it's worse than diamond. A lot worse than... <laughs> it's like... It's completely worse, um, but it, it might be better than iron. I don't lower attack damage, higher attack speed. Six. It, it, this thing is just—it's not that good. Uh, let's just compare boots because that's what I can make. This stuff is confusing. It's like better than iron in some parts, worse than iron in some parts, worse than diamond pretty much every time. Uh, I'm—I think I'm gonna. Well, no going back now. Uh, I got myself some Sincinocyte 
What is that? I don't know what that extra bar is, but that's there now. So now, oh, they actually look worse than gold. What is the brown part? Could just use slabs for this, it would be cheaper, but you know what, who cares? Oh no. Um, this is gonna look bad. <laughs> now, the, it's just a lament block chilling outside my house. Is that gonna look stupid? Yeah, that's kind of noticeable, don't you think? Do I have like a moss carpet thing? That would be real handy. I have regular moss. I don't know, can you make that like you make wool carpet? You can! Look at that! That's not even like from a mod or anything. I, I'm assuming that's just in the vanilla game. So if I... Eh, it's not that noticeable. It's better than it was before, and you know what? I can just have like moss kinda chilling around here. Making that a little less obvious. Sun's going down. Uh, that does look a little- it looks a little bit off, but you know what? I don't think it's that big of a deal. Sleep in my bed with my bad-looking shoes that I kind of regret making now. <laughs> the iron one was fine, and then it looked good. You know what? I don't need to wear this. I can eventually get that in advancement, but like, if we're going for style points, I'm wearing the iron with the gold. Alright, Burheel, you're gonna come inside, okay? All right, please don't go to anything else. Where are you going? I'm sorry, are the doors messing you up? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, wait, you went to the stone cutter. I'm realizing the boat's not gonna fit down there. You know, I could just break through this at the moment. Okay, break through this part at the moment. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Come on, Yule. Here we go. That was easy. Uh, hold up. What if I... Put that there. No, I can't really trade with Buryil, because she's not gonna be able to restock. She doesn't have a bed. Unless... Do that. If I put that there... <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, but we'll see. So... She does go for that... Um... Does that work? Are you stuck? I think she's, like, legitimately stuck in the composter. Wait, if she sleeps, is she gonna suffocate? Okay, for now, you can just stay in there. Um, I just don't want her to escape and get killed by monsters. Alright, what is centered here? I think this block. There we go. Nice and lit, and I think she is stuck. And you know what? As we place back down the stone cutter, I think that concludes this episode. So, the nether portal was just in a hole, so I made the hole look cool. The ducks were just chilling in a hole right here, and now they're in their own little duck ranch, as I am going to call this. They got a little place to go inside, they're loving it, they got a pond. This thing, I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of how this turned out, I really love it. And I think the willow logs, or planks, look really good with it. And also, Burgil Overdorf, the villager that I kidnapped in episode one, now has a proper place to stay. There's six days left until winter. The sun sets on a glorious day, where the ducks are happy, Overdorf is safe, and the nether portal looks cool. So there's no better way to end this episode than a little bit of a trivia question. Did you know that if you press the subscribe button, it'll turn gray?